Hey guys, I'm gonna just uh, make a quick video, like a few minutes long, about some of the things that are happening with Death Knights. Uh, as we know, Black Rock Foundry came out, and as we also know as Death Knights, our set bonuses, especially at the start, were just, you know, crap. I mean, uh, you get five stacks of Shadow Infusion when you Soul Reaper target. Basically, that says, cool, when they're below 45%, you'll get a DPS boost. That, that's, that's nice, but all in all, it only added a couple percent to our damage. And then the 4 set, when you activate Dark Transformation, you get one of your runes as a death rune. That's also nice, but that's every... Let's see. Uh, where is my button? So every 30 seconds, we get one rune back. So overall, this only added a couple percent to us. It just, it wasn't nice at all. At all. So in 6.1, Blizzard has decided to buff us a little bit. The two set bonus now grants your infused ghoul 40% additional damage. I, I haven't done the numbers on this. I don't know for sure, but I can only imagine that's maybe another, if we're lucky, 2% to our damage. It's, it's nice. But it's nothing that, you know, I'm jumping for joy about. I'm happy we got a buff, but as far as buffs go, it's still a pretty weak buff. So, WAD's been out for a while, and we actually have pretty finite uh, instructions on what we should be doing for our stats. So, real quick, I'm just stealing this from Elitist Jerks. Uh, but, you know, you can go to their site and just look at Death Knights and you'll see all of their reasoning, their breakdowns for stuff. I'm going to share with you kind of the optimal, what you should be doing for most fights thing. And then you can decide from there uh, if you need to switch things up. This is, I mean, this video is not really any more helpful than the other videos. It's just an update to make sure that you're still up to date with all your stuff. So, first things first, if you're in a raid team, I honestly suggest letting other people in your raid team get their four sets or two sets first, just because ours is shit. Like, our damage apparently doesn't need it. We're still decently high on damaging rosters, but uh, all I'm saying is if you have a boomkin like we do, I let him, I, I didn't even fight for the piece. I just let him have it. So, you know, throwing that out there. So for your gear, strength is the most important thing. And here, I'm just going to point out, uh, when you're going from a 670 to like a 675, the strength you get from there might not be as important if you're losing mastery and multi-strike, for instance. So kind of keep track of that yourself. If you decide that it's not worth it, it might not be worth it. Uh, you can try running simulation craft, stuff like that. Just switch those pieces out. If you need help with simulation craft, you can send me a message. It's really simple to use, set up, and use. Um... So, for Unholy, for two-handers, Strength exceeds Multi-Strike, which exceeds Mastery, which exceeds Crit Strike, which ex exceeds Versatility, which, which exceeds Haste. So, you want Strength above everything. Multi-Strike comes after that, Mastery comes after that. So, uh, it's kind of, when you're going for gear, if it has Multi-Strike Haste, it's probably better than, like, Mastery, Versatility, but they're probably... Uh, they're probably close, because multi-strike might be your most important thing, but to that effect, it's hard to kind of gear right. Especially because uh, Heimel had crappy items for us. Like, our trinkets from Heimel are just shit on a stick. But luckily, in Blackrock Foundry, we're actually getting newer items. So there's that. And for your skills, or for your talents, Plague Leech... Uh, the, the 57 talent choice, kind of your choice. I mean, I like AMZ. It's not really that great. Lichborn could be okay in the clutch situation. Purgatory is okay, I guess. But uh, Death's Advance, especially on the fight for Black Hand, can be really nice. Uh, you have to move a lot more in that fight than you do in other fights. Runic Corruption for Unholy is still simming the best, but... If you're really hard-headed, you don't have to use it. It's not that big of a deal. Death Pact is what I use because, uh, for instance, again, on uh, the fight with Black Hand, if you're going up to the top shelf, uh, you need to heal yourself, so you can AMS part of the damage, and you can Death Pact, and that's half your health. Uh, this Gorfiend's Grasp is probably what you should use. Remorseless Winter is also okay. The only reason I use Desecrate Ground is because sometimes I feel lazy and I'll get myself stunned or something. Defile, in most cases, is your best one-on-one -on -one DPS. And for AoE, it's your best DPS. But some fights, you cannot hit them with Defile. And um, 
it's kind of your choice right there. Let's see. For instance, when you're going into Blackrock, uh, what is this guy's name? Man, is it Chromog? I can never remember what these people look like. Yeah, Chromog. So you can't actually hit Chromog unless they changed it with the file. So I used Necrotic Plague once. It honestly, because of the way Chromog's fight works, you should maybe use the file just because you can get yourself out of the hand that grabs you more quickly, plus help other people. It's kind of your choice. Either way, it should be okay. Your damage won't be that different. But you know, just a thought. So this is kind of just a quick rundown of how it is now, uh, how we're doing. We're kind of the middle of the pack. Uh, we're a little higher than middle. If you're doing well, if you're doing your rotation well, uh, you can refer to other videos for that. It hasn't really changed. The only thing is I, I'm using Plague Leech because I stopped being lazy, so you should include that. Uh, basically use Plague Leech when... Uh, I actually pretty much use on cooldown because Plague Leech gives you two runes, so I use that to get two runes back and I can reapply both my uh, diseases very quickly. So anyway, to that effect, not too hard. Uh, so we're doing okay. Uh, they did buff us a little, and now you have an idea of how you should be gearing. So if you guys have any questions, go ahead and ask. Like, I'm always free to answer shit. I, I just, I like talking. So uh, you probably noticed that. All right. So hopefully this was at least a little helpful, and I will catch you next time.